Hello students. Today we will start the topic plant life respiration. So now we will study exchange of gases in plants. That means through what all openings the exchange of gases will take place. It will take place through roots, through leaves and through the stem. Now let us study what is diffusion. Exchange of gases in plant parts take place through diffusion. Now the definition of diffusion. The particles net movement from a region of high concentration to the region of low concentration. We have to remember the movement of molecules will always take place from a high concentration to the low concentration. Look at the diagram, those blue circles, the molecules are in high concentration. The movement of particle took place to low concentration. Now the question arises, till when it take place? It take place till it reaches the equilibrium. So to conclude diffusion, diffusion is the movement of particles from the region of their higher concentration to the region of their lower concentration till an equilibrium is reached. Now, what all are the openings on the leaves? If we look at the lower surface of the leaf, you will see a minute pore called as stomata. In leaves, the respiratory gaseous exchange take place through this stomata. Now, if you look at the stem, the lenticels will be found. Lenticels will not be found on all the stems. That are they are found only on the bark of old trees. In woody stems, the exchange of gases take place. Now, gaseous exchange in root. This is the enlarged magnified view of root. Roots can perform gas exchange using outgrowths on the root are called as root hair. Root hair increases the surface area, requires the soil to be aerated and moist. Now comes respiration in plants. Like all other organisms, plants do require energy to carry out body activities. In this chapter, we will be dealing with two kinds of respiration. They are aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration is the respiration that take place in presence of oxygen and anaerobic respiration in absence of oxygen. The manner in which diffusion of respiratory gases occurs. Look at the diagram. Oxygen is taken in and the carbon dioxide is evolved. The, num the number of interesting experiments to demonstrate respiration in plants. Now, what is respiration? All living cells in plants, as well as those in animals, require energy for various activities. For example, building up of proteins from amino acids, making starch from glucose, Absorbing minerals from the soil. Laying down of cell walls by the plant cell. This energy is made available by breakdown of the simple carbohydrates that is the glucose. So glucose the energy is stored in the form of ATP. This chemical breakdown occurs by utilizing oxygen and it is represented by the overall reaction. Glucose, C6H12O6, plus oxygen, six molecules of oxygen, gives six molecules of carbon dioxide and six molecules of water. So this is the equation of respiration. And 38 ATP molecules of energy is released in case of aerobic respiration. Now comes respiration versus burning, which is also called as combustion. Sometimes respiration is compared with burning. 
such as burning of coal both liberate energy both gives the end product that is carbon dioxide and water now let us study what is the difference between respiration and burning respiration occurs in a series of chemical steps whereas burning occurs in a single step respiration is carried out by enzyme while burning is carried out by heat it's a biochemical process take place in living organism burning is a physiochemical process in respiration the energy liberated is as it is as atp and some heat and in burning the energy liberated in the form of heat and light no light uh, energy is produced in respiration in burning light is produced respiration is a cellular process burning is a non cellular process respiration occurs at body temperature but for burning it requires very high temperature now let us study the difference between aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration aerobic respiration proceeds in presence of oxygen anaerobic respiration in absence of oxygen complete breakdown of glucose take place in complete breakdown of glucose take place the end products in aerobic respiration are carbon dioxide and water the end products in anaerobic respiration is ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide energy liberated is in a very high quantity that is 38 atp molecule whereas in anaerobic respiration very small quantity of energy is reduced that is 2 atp molecules occurs normally throughout the life anaerobic respiration occurs temporarily for a short period proceeds in the presence of oxygen in the absence of oxygen complete breakdown of glucose take place in complete breakdown of glucose take place end products are carbon dioxide and water end products are ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide 30p 38 atp molecule are released 2 atp molecules are released occur normally throughout the life and occurs temporarily for a short period this was the difference between aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration experiment to prove that carbon dioxide is produced during respiration in germinating seeds take two flask label it as a and the second flask label it as b place some wet cotton or a wool at the bottom of each flask soaked seed such as p or gram are placed in the flask a and equal number of boiled or dead seeds are placed in flask b a little antiseptic such as carbolic acid is added to the flask b why it is added to prevent the bacterial growth on dead seed which would otherwise respire and release carbon dioxide the flask are securely corked and left in a similar condition of light and temperature a few days later the seeds in flask a will be found to have a clearly germinated and those in flask b show no signs of any germination as they are dead thank you all of you